Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lauren here, and I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of weird to say that after like the eight or nine months that it's been since I made my last video. Um, and I've been thinking for a while about making a video and just sort of updating you guys. I've had quite a few people reach out and just you know, ask if I'm alive <laughs> um, and you know, what happened, why I decided to stop making YouTube videos. Um, and so I'm gonna address that today. Uh, first and foremost, am I still vegan? Yes, of course. Um, I'm probably more vegan than ever. I don't really wear animal products anymore. Um, I don't, you know, I've, I'm really very like thorough in checking to make sure that everything that I purchase is 100% vegan. Um, and uh, yeah, so I am vegan. I, I feel better now than I ever have on this lifestyle. For me, it really just keeps getting better. And perhaps in the future, I will make a video about small things that have changed uh, in my diet and just some of the obstacles and some of the successes that I've had. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. I'm going to talk about why I stopped making videos. Um, and the main reason being that I really just lost my motivation to do so for a few reasons. And I always said that when this stopped being fun for me, um, that I would stop making videos. And that's really what happened. I just got to the point where I didn't really have a lot of time for YouTube. Um, I felt like I was making a lot of the same videos, you know, over and over and over, what I ate today, haul videos, just for the sake of putting out a video because I felt like I had to. Um, it didn't feel inspired, it didn't feel like that much fun anymore. It was just something I was doing for the sake of doing. And I didn't really see how that was adding to my life in any way. I think that the videos that I still have on my channel cover most of the topics that, like to this day, if somebody you know messages me and asks for my opinion on something, I can mostly send them a video of mine to answer it. Um, so yeah, I just got to the point where I ran out of things that I really wanted to talk about. And so I was just making very uninspired kind of repetitive, boring videos that you see on 101 different channels. Um, and on top of that, I I really, I never set out with the intent on like making YouTube some sort of career for me. Um, the idea of a career in which you don't do a lot of interacting with other people just is not for me. Sitting down and editing for hours and hours and hours or writing an ebook or whatever it is, um, it just is not, doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, I am much more of like a hands-on person, so I always did YouTube just out of a desire to, you know, have that creative outlet um, and and just as a hobby, really. So, uh, yeah. So that's my main reason. Uh, on top of that, I would say that the vegan YouTube community has drastically shifted since I first found it and got involved. Um, there's just so much like back and forth and so much drama drama that I once participated in so I'm certainly not excluding myself from it I just got to the point where I felt like I I just got kind of sucked in and thought like this is what it's about this is what you have to make videos about to have a voice and uh, and now I just feel very differently about that um, if that is the person that I once was you know making videos about other people um, I don't think that that's the person that I am now and it's just I really now focus on trying to be positive and and uh, bring things in that are positive and that's not what I was doing with my YouTube channel for an, a short period of time anyway so um, all this being said I think that there are people out there who are still making incredible videos informative videos and inspiring videos when it comes to the vegan lifestyle um, and I just I don't know, I just didn't have the inspiration to be one of those people that like really devoted myself to it. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't think about it still. I still sometimes think about a, a video topic that I wanna cover. Um, and so I might, might make videos in the future. If I do, they'll hopefully be very just candid, not a lot of editing um, and just my thoughts on certain topics. Um, and, what else? I guess the last thing I'm going to say is that when people start a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or whatever it is, I think we all, a lot of us have this idea that like, you know, if I just have this many followers, I'll be popular and I'll be happy. And if I can just make 
my life look a certain way online, then maybe that's what it will really be like. Um, because when I started, I, like I thought, like the idea of having 5,000 subscribers just seemed like crazy to me. And it was like, who, like, you know, how amazing would that be to have all these people who were interested in watching my videos? Um, and what I found is that when you get to those milestones, they're never as exciting as you think they're gonna be because you're only thinking about the next milestone. And we always want more of what we already have. And uh, and all these subscribers, however many it is, whether or not you have 100 or 100,000, none of those people really know who you are because at the end of the day, the whole online social media thing, it's just a very small piece of our lives and it's very edited to look a certain way. So it just never felt very real. There was things that I did, like I never talked about the fact that I still sometimes drink alcohol uh, or coffee. I, I pretty much made it seem as if I didn't do those things, but in reality, I still was and I just didn't want to talk about it because I was worried that that somehow made me less of a vegan or that it was a bad influence on people or just that people wouldn't like it and be judgmental of me and I just don't like that. I just don't want to have to ever feel like I'm censoring who I am um, and making it look a certain way when that's not really how it is. So. Anyways, um, again, all this being said, this is just my experience. I'm in no way, shape, or form talking about other people because I know other people have had huge success um, and maybe approached it in a way that felt very genuine to them. Um, I just got to the point where it just wasn't for me anymore. <laughs> so anyways, um, I do really appreciate that I still actually have subscribers. It kind of amazes me. Um, and. I don't know, maybe in the future. Let me know if there are any video requests. I'm not gonna make any promises in terms of actually making videos, um, but I don't know. Sometimes I really feel like getting on YouTube and speaking my mind, talking about my experiences that I've had in the last eight or nine months on this phenomenal lifestyle. Um, yeah, so that was seven minutes of me talking really quickly and about a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I might see you next time. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs>